The ingredient list on the back of your dog or cat's pet food bag is going to be listed in the order of descending weight, meaning that the heavier ingredients or the ingredients that are present in the largest quantity are gonna be closer to the top of the list, whereas the ingredients that are present in smaller quantities or way less are gonna be present closer to the bottom of the list. Now that's not to say that the ingredients that are present on the bottom of the list aren't very, very important. They just weigh less or they're present in smaller quantities, such as your micronutrients or your micro minerals. With regard to the feeding statement and making sure that you're choosing the ideal diet for your dog and cat, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're choosing the right life stage factor to make sure that you're really targeting and feeding your dog or cat all 40 of the essential vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that your dog or cat needs to thrive and survive. You may see some ingredients on that list that are unusual to you or may even be a little bit concerning. They're usually the scientific terms of ingredients and they're nothing to be afraid of. They're the pet food company's way of being transparent and telling you exactly what's in that pet food bag. Let me explain why. For example, an amino acid may be listed out by its scientific name. You may also see terms such as byproducts. Byproducts are not scary. In fact, they're healthy and nutritious. They bring in not only protein, the way that a skeletal meat would, like you eating a hamburger or a chicken breast, but they also bring in important vitamins and minerals that otherwise wouldn't be included in the pet food.